Hello everybody, welcome back. Well today I am just making some little clusters um, to go on the edge of the page of your journals. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Um, I've just taken it to the sewing machine and I took bits and pieces of paper, um, fabrics, scrapbook paper, lace, eyelash trims, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's some Tim Holtz ephemera and some fabric pieces. And so I just kind of stitched a bunch of these together. But now I'm going to go back and I'm going to embellish them. So I was thinking about adding this little guy right there. And uh, what I wanted was something to go in the middle, which I guess can be another pearl. I've already got two pearls on there. But... What if I use this dark? Yeah, we'll use that. It's kind of a almost a navy blue looking pearl. I think that'll be pretty in the center. So let's see if the hot glue gun is ready to go. I just plugged it in. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to put that little flower right there. And I am going to put this in the center. And some of these that I'm making are going to be for swap that I'm doing. Um, okay, let's get all that out. All right, so that one might be finished. All right, so this one, I've got blacks and creams and golden brown and stuff like that. So I want to find something that would really, let me see, something that would really um, complement that. I think I'll put this little flower. This is a little flower I made out of music and book pages. It's got about four layers to it, and it turned out pretty cool. I think I'll put that down at the bottom. And maybe for the this one, I'm going to use this little jewel that's sitting right here on my desk. That little rhinestone. That'll make that one cute. All right, good. All right, now... For this one, and I don't have to add a flower to every single one, maybe a butterfly. All right, so I've got this little butterfly here um, that I cut out of a book page. And I think I'm going to try to ink the edges, which I'm not going to be able to hold it and do it because it's a little fragile. So I'm just going to kind of do it on my paper here on my, um, it's actually a cutting mat, a Dollar Tree cutting mat. Let's ink these up a little bit. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is just kind of fold him so he will stand up just a little bit. I'm going to glue him right in there. And since I'm going to fabric and fibers and all that, I am using hot glue. Um, you could use Fabri-Tac and all, but for the purpose of filming, I usually use hot glue because it's faster. And then I've got this rhinestone chain, and so I want to put that right down the middle, right there. So, let me get some glue. I'll stick a little line and see if I cut it the right length. <laughs> I think I did. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, good. So, we'll put that little guy there. A little bit of glue on the top and get that off. All right, so see now his wings will kind of have a little motion to them. Not a whole lot of motion, but a little action. All right, and then we need something down here. It looks a little plain. So maybe just one of these pearls that size right there. Not too awfully big, but big enough to give it just a little special something right there. There we go. All right, glue strings go away. All right, let's see what else we've got. I've got some that I made in this um, turquoisey blue family using some fabric samples that I had, upholstery samples. And so this one's got a little bit of turquoisey, but this one has more. Let me show you this one. I hadn't cut them apart. I string pieced them. You know what I mean? When you're sewing on your sewing machine and you get to the end and you just stick the next one there and you keep sewing and you, you know, they're string pieced because I'm a quilter too. <laughs> All right. So let's see, maybe one of these little flowers here. 
Let's see, who wants this flower? You? Yeah, you can have it. All right, so I'll put this glue here and put that little flower there. All right, let's see. I've also got these gems that are kind of, uh, they're darker in the film than they are in real life. <laughs> they're a little bit lighter, but they look kind of dark on the camera. But I'm going to stick one right there, which matches very, very well. And I'm going to stick one right there. All right, now, I might add some flowers. I like this guy right here. He's a little bit bigger than I might have chosen, but it really looks good. All right. And that flower didn't get a flower center, so I've got some pearls, and I've got this flower made where you can put a, a round pearl um, down in there as opposed to it having to be a flat back. So for this, I'm going to just use this glue because I don't know if I can get my hot glue down in there without making a mess. So I'm just going to use a white glue. I'm going to drop that pearl in there. And the only thing I try to do when I do pearl, round pearls is turn it where the hole is sideways. I don't want the hole to be sticking up, you know. All right. Oh, gosh, they're pretty already. Do we need to do anything else? Okay, I found a flower that I like in my stash that looks good with that. And let's see what color. I think I'm going to put one of those um, pale blue, that guy right there. Put this kind of a pale blue flat back. See him? He's so cute. I'm going to put that in the center of this little flower. Put it down like so. Okay, that's so cute. All right, glue strings, I'm going to say you're finished. All right, what shall we do to these two? All right, so I just looked in my stash and got this little word and matted it on some brown cardstock, and it says time for tea. All right, so that one is finished. This one, so I got this little script thing here. I've actually had this for a long time, and I've been wanting to use it somewhere. It's written in another language, so I can't tell you what it says. <laughs> Ouch! But I'm going to put it right there. And I think I'm going to put this little piece of eyelash right in the middle. Come on, you. Put that little piece of eyelash with one dot of glue, and I'm going to put this pearl dot on top of that. Pull that down. There we go. All right. That one can be finished. You may want to trim that just a hair. All right, let's see what else we've got. You know, you get on a roll making these. It's like, oh my gosh, how many did I make? <laughs> but I like to mass make things because, of course, it's a lot quicker. All right. Oh, two more. All that. Okay. That's all of them. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's move a couple of these aside. We can just work on a couple at a time. So see, I, again, I got scrapbook paper. I got some tea dyed gauze, music paper, fabric, Tim Holtz ephemera, eyelash trim. Just really anything goes. Whatever you can think of, whatever you like. Um, so I'm thinking I might put a word, a little phrase or something. I have this little stash. Let me show you what I'm digging in. I'm digging in this little stash of stuff. And looking for words. Okay, look, grateful. There's a good one. So I'm gonna take the word grateful, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it maybe right there. And I'm not gonna mat it on black or brown because it's already black, the background color. So I'm gonna put that right there, and I still want some stones, pearls. Uh oh. And this one matches it really good, if I can hold on to it. And I'm going to put this little pearl right there. All right, and that one is good. I'll put it aside. All right, this guy, let's see. I might do one more with a word, unless I can find a flower that I really like. Oh, 
Oh, oh, enough said. Now, this is a die cut flower. It has three layers, plus I added leaves, and I sprayed it with glimmer mist. So it's got a little shine to it, a shimmer. And then it has seed beads inside in the middle. And that looks really good right there. I kind of like it. All right, so I'm going to spread that out a little bit. And I'm going to glue this beautiful thing right here in the middle of that. There we go. Oh, how pretty is that? Look there. That one turned out really nice. All right, this is a lady I cut from a magazine and put Mod Podge over it, and I just stitched her down. So we've got a little bit of burgundy. It might not look burgundy on in the camera. It looks black, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's burgundy. So, let me see. I kind of would like to use some of that, but I don't think that's going to work. I got this little piece of this right here, and I think I've been kind of cutting on it and pulling some of it apart, <laughs> taking bits and pieces off of it. Why not? There we go. So, I think I'm going to use a piece of that down here. So, you see, I just kind of create as I go. I don't have a big plan before I start, but I've done so many things like this that I guess it kind of helps me have an idea of what I might want to do next. I don't know. Could be right, could be wrong. Sometimes I don't like it. If I don't, I take it off. This is just a little piece of um, fuzzy yarn. I just kind of folded it over like so. And I want to put a little flower inside. And that one is pretty cute. But if I've got one that would really pull that burgundy out, that would be nice. Although, like I said, it looks black to you all, I'm sure. See, that's burgundy. All right. I'm going to stick that in the middle of this flower. And again, this one didn't have a center. Why didn't I put centers in my flowers when I made them? So now we got to find Flower Center. Okay, so I just got one of those golden looking pearls and I put that in the center. And then up here she needs a little bling. And I was thinking about that, this um, chain that I've got that I've already used once. I think I'm just going to put a little piece up in there. Just kind of add a little bling to her. Let's stick it right there. There we go. Now then. Yeah, she needed bling. And she needs a pearl. I know y'all probably think I'm going crazy with my pearls. But it just adds so much. Sometimes just a little pearl will just jazz it up. And I ain't finding nothing but little beaties. Itty bitties. So we're going to use itty bitties this time. Put all that back in there. So I've got three itty bit. Whoops. Well, I've got two itty bitties. I dropped one. <laughs> okay, so I changed my mind. I'm going to use one large one because it matches so beautifully. And two itty bitties. And I'm going to do them with this other glue because I need a smaller dot of glue than I can comfortably get with my glue gun. I didn't cap that back up, so it dried up. And that little bitty cap, that little bitty in, you got to keep it capped. All right, put that there. And let's have this itty bitty. And we're going to put him right there. Oh my goodness. Now she looks so elegant, don't she? <laughs> oh, I wish you could see how pretty that is. It just don't look the same in the camera. But anyway. Like I said, some of these are part of a swap, so somebody will be tickled to get them, I hope. I think they will. I hope they will. All right, this is that same burgundy fabric. I've got this little bitty flower that looks really good right there. So I'm just paper to paper, so I'm using this glue. And good heavens, we're going to do the same thing again. Pour them all out. Look for one that will fit in there. <laughs> hey, there's a little bitty one. Let's use that one right there. 
All right, so we'll put that one in the middle. Okay, so for this one, I just added a little pin there that I've got a couple of little seed beads on um, and just added that little pin. And for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and make um, a little dangle. It needs something. I don't want them all the same. I want them different. So if I take one of these little bulb pins in gold, and I can add a dangle to it. Okay, first, before I do my dangle, I am going, I put this little flower in the middle, and I'm going to punch a hole straight through the middle, through the whole shebang, and I want to put this pearl bread through that hole for my flower center, and I'm going to open it up on the back, like that. Okay, now we're going to hang a dangle. Okay, so I just pulled a little dangle out of my stash, and I'm going to hang it from the bulb pin. But before I do that, I'm going to add some of these large seeds or rocales to the bulb pin, just to give it a little more bling and different colors. I kind of mix and match sometimes. I like to use different colors. They don't all have to be the same. They can all be different. And then I am going to hook it, attach it to that piece of fabric right there. And it can hang down. There we go. Sorry, you couldn't see what I was doing. Let's cut that off a little bit. So now we got a little dangle hanging there. So that's cute. All right, so the only other thing I think it needs is maybe a word. A word. So here are my words. And we could call this one peachy. <laughs> we'll just say peachy. We'll put a peachy little sign on there. I'm going to glue it right there. Ta-da. All right, so I'm going to call that one finished. So, that is all in a day's work. I thank you for watching. I hope I've inspired you and given you some creative ideas of things you might not have thought of before. So, anyway, if you're enjoying my channel, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment below. Let me know you're out there. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.